Welcome back to the Hermitcraft server. And here we are looking over another sunset in Minecraft. Just a little bit off to one side of New Hermiton. As I get this wonderful treat of sunset over the ribbon. That's really an epic sight, I gotta tell you. But, epic sights notwithstanding, it does kind of remind me, again, of uh, the kind of uh, get going okay and then fall to a stop thing that I had on this castle. And I, as you know, I got started on this thing several months ago now. And then I got just about this far and the whole thing came to a stop because I kind of lost the vision for what I was doing here. And uh, I got really, really stuck. And so recently, I had some absolutely awesome help when Zuljan came over to give me a hand with uh, figuring out what to do with this thing. And so here's that footage now. Hey, TFC. Greetings. <laughs> so this is your castle, your abode that you're working yeah, on. Yeah, I, I got a good start on it, and then uh, I had some things happen. I got away from it, and... You know how it is when you lose the vision for a build. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like riding a bike until you have problems, and then you get back on the bike and you fall down a few times. Yeah, you may you may never forget how, but it still can be a problem getting back on it. Mm -hmm. So what I'm seeing here is that it looks plain, and it looks like on the inside you have a little bit of pattern going on, which I like a lot. The, yeah, um, I think dark wood, like the spruce or dark oak, looks absolutely awesome against stone of every type. And it's a good way to break up the colors like you have in here. You just don't have any of those elements outside, is all. Well, that's <laughs> that, that'd be a help. So let's start with something simple, like, um, I don't know, we'd Whoa. say the corners. So if yeah. I took out... Let's take out this corner here and just add some wood and see what it looks like. Yeah. Right? Uh, it definitely breaks up the cobble. Right. And if we had something like that here, it would look pretty good too. Uh, let's see. You have a two spacing right here and a two spacing right here. So we couldn't do that without destroying your entrance. Maybe if we took this second row and turn this into wood instead. Yeah. And, okay. okay, so the corner's open now. Let's try maybe cobble walls, this corner. And now you have, now you have two dimensions, and you have two and colors. And a variation on the texture, yeah. Right, that's correct. So it, it breaks it up a lot. So if if you took the exact, I work on centers a lot, and I see that you already kind of have uh, this as a centerpiece. So if we wanted to make this even, we would need a block of cobble right here, and then we would need a wood post right here. And then, okay. yeah. Now you have, now that's a thing. That's like almost like a focal point. Yeah. So I think that works well. This would probably interfere a little bit with the entrance, so just for completion's sake, we'll take this out and put that, and then I was uh, I shouldn't have even removed that cobble wall. <laughs> so we got we got cobble wall there and there that looks good, and then we can repeat the same thing on the right side. Yeah, but this kind of messes up your um. It's kind of messes up your entrance way here, so let's well, see what we can do. Redesign is always an option if it makes something <laughs> look better, you know? Right. That's the beauty of Minecraft. You could just break blocks and replace them. <laughs> uh, unless it's glass and you don't have silk touch or something. Let's see. You got any more of that snazzy spruce wood, buddy? Should be a chest full of it, a bunch uh, of it over here. I see it now. I yeah. found it. I made okay. sure to have all three kinds of the main wood. I don't have a stock of dark oak, and I'm going to have to fix that. All right. Uh, okay, so this will probably, let's see here, probably do 
Nope. Nope. Okay, and let's take wood and place it right here. Ah, a door frame. Right. And well, what if these cobble stairs, the inverted stairs, if they were moved up one block? I think that I think you're exactly on my wavelength, brother. And then we can just kind of like a support, supposedly. Now we can take maybe a couple of cobble slabs and put one in the middle here. Yeah, there you go. And then throw the torches back on there. Right, and that just gives it a little bit more definition. It we can looks do... more real almost, you know, really? Yeah. Uh, I don't like the way that does. What if we did this? We kept the same deal, almost like a corner support. Then we went down here, and we did... And then go from there with slabs. Right. Hmm. How about this? I think slabs are the way to go all the way across. It looks like it. Yep. And now you still have that support. It actually adds a little bit more depth, too. Oh, depth it's... and definition. Mm-hmm. But that's good. That's good right there, Absolutely. buddy. Absolutely. So we can rinse and repeat this on that side, and then we can move on to maybe the towers that you were telling me you were concerned with. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's do that, make a cut, and we'll be right back, guys. All right. All right, man. So we got the yeah. front done. It looks yeah. really, really good. It does. But the tower is something that you said that was bothering you, and from what I see, it just changes shape too drastically. So we can probably do a few things. First yeah, of all, it's I like it's going a little bit from uh, rounded over to squarish, and it's too right. much of a change. Right. Um, I think if you wanted to do something like that, make it bubble out like that, we could probably go a little bit larger if it was at an intersection, which it will be. You said you wanted to maybe bring a diagonal path out. Yeah. So we can start that. Um, I think we could do a little bit of work with the base, too. Um, let's see. If we did... Let's see how this would work. I'm going to take a few of these uh, cobblestone walls and just do like a little three stripe right here just to see what it does with the texture. I think that looks well, good. It certainly breaks up the uh, solid cobblestone thing. Right. And because of Minecraft's beautiful lighting glitches, it kind of gives it the, the appearance that it's a darker material too, which is good. Sort of. Um, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> We can also do some of this nice oak wood in the corners. Yeah. We can go, let's say, like a four high. Oh, I'm tall. Four high, and then we can use... Let's try one different texture. Let's do stone bricks. And we'll do stone bricks on the outside and just give it like almost like a foot pad. Yeah, that works. Definitely that works. Cool, and we can actually just cap it off with... Um, let's do the cobblestone, since it's almost like a junction. Uh-huh. Um, here, and just make like a cap. Boop, and boop. Yeah. That does all kinds of stuff. You can actually do stairs right that, there. That makes want. it... It gives it a wider look, and... Uh, with the uh, wood and the stone brick breaking things up a little bit in the different shapes. Right. Now, you can easily take this pattern that I have here and kind of incorporate it in that section up there. So where the cobblestone walls are coming out of there, uh -huh. you can do this as the outside, okay? So that would be like your trim. And because they're flat blocks, you can easily put glass, kind of like you have in the middle, so that wouldn't uh -huh. change. And it's a repeatable pattern. So just yeah. because this is a base, it's going to go up and it's just going to look like another one of these patterns. So it's just going to be a little bit easier on the eyes. Maybe we can try that now. Let's see. Yeah, I think I can end a pearl close. Yep. 
Yeah, you can glitch uh, yourself right into the glass. Yeah. <laughs> I love that feature. Oh. <laughs> I think I broke, yeah, I broke the glass for real. Uh, well, I just had some little mob come after me. I, it looked a little odd, kind of like a purple slime. Must uh, be one of those new ones. That's an endermite, I think. I've heard that those things are aggravating. Yeah, and I don't even look forward to what they're going to do to the ender farm. <laughs> Well, the end of form has slowed down considerably. I saw Spoon Wax video, and uh, it doesn't look like it's the uh, the fastest anymore. Oh <laughs> man! Yeah, no. we're gonna miss that. Yeah, considerably slower. Okay, so we've got that. That's good. Now okay. we went to. Let me pick up some of these stone brick stairs. Cool. I think we can do the same right, thing. Next more. Ooh. Okay, and let's see if I got this right. And at the bottom, uh huh. Oops. <laughs> you placed the wrong way, huh? Yeah. That's perfect, dude. That is perfect. And then just continue that all the way around right. Right. and uh, have this, all four corners work the same way. That's correct. And it almost gives it like an hourglass shape, but it looks, it doesn't look like it's top heavy anymore because you have this base that's the same. Yeah. Way that, it, that was so one of the problems I had was trying to not make the thing look top heavy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's weird to do that. You know, like though. it's going to fall over. Right, right. And we all know that you could just place blocks in air, but it, it has a certain feel to it now that it's it's more structurally sound yeah. that way. And now you still have the same kind of room as you were working with earlier, uh -huh. except now you can probably, because you'll have this as a corner support. Let well, me try to work out. I got that. another one of these things. Where's it at? Where's right it in at? front of me. Yep, that's an endermite, I think. Yep, that's an endermite. So weird, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> Not a fan. <laughs> no, no. No, it's like, it's a psychedelic silverfish is all that is. <laughs> oh. All right, so now we got this, and we'll have another here. Okay. Yeah. This will be interesting, to say the least. So it's going to have to be a pattern. I don't know how low I'm going or whatever. I'm just kind of experimenting. Okay. So. You can have that at the top and the bottom, but that is going to play tricks with this glass. To be you might have to just do a single right here, buddy. Let's see if I take which ones must go touch. Take my fortune out. All right, so let's break this up. Yeah, change is fine. There's change is what this thing needs. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's take, for instance, this wall. We can do this, this. On the sides, you can run it like that. Or you can do glass panes, however you like. Yeah. Then... What happens when I just place regular glass right here? Let's see how that looks. It does not connect. Okay. No. That's and the problem with glass and these fence posts. They don't connect. Right. right. I don't know if glass panes will. I think I just need to play around with this, this, this design a little bit more. Let's see what we can come up with and we'll be right back. All right, buddy. Yeah. I'm huh? happy with this. <laughs> Well, it certainly is a lot better than it was. I got to tell you that. Yeah. 
there's a couple little missing deals here and there like the block that you're standing on should technically be cobble and yeah. most of what we got though is is fine it's actually not geometrically correct but from the inside it looks right and from the outside it looks right so that's I all that counts going for yeah and then you have a path here that you can just extend out like you were talking about in uh -huh. a diagonal path we just did some supports here and we actually changed this to one glowstone instead of four to fit the theme so i think it's going to work out well yeah i think so you uh, uh you said it, you had a what was that go ahead go ahead <laughs> i said you said you had a throne room to work on uh yeah well that's down here down the corridor okay. here and then up to the uh central path here now i had gotten the uh corridor started out i was going to expand this out into an actual room back here someplace and uh you know make it kind of big and uh cathedralish sort of kind yeah. of big and expansive that's nice yeah where do you think whereabouts do you think your throne would be uh probably up against where the back wall is now okay I could probably do some pretty cool stuff for you to give you an idea on maybe how you can do some of the furniture and stuff. Uh, uh, let's that, see. Knock yourself out. <laughs> right. Let's see where I'm going to need a little bit of wool. There's and some more wo wool of various colors up in that uh, chest in the hallway up there, too. Oh, okay. I think red wool would be good for this. And do you have any sort of... I don't want to use stone bricks because it'll be different. I guess we could just use the spruce wood again. I think that would look good. Um, actually, do you have any dark oak? No, that's the one thing I don't have any of. Uh, okay, okay. Well, I'll show you. I need to get farming some of that stuff. Oh, glitching into stuff. <laughs> you can you can probably grab some relatively easy once you get a few saplings, and that would make it easier for you. Yeah. Okay, so we got red wool. Just one of those things I meant to get around to and uh -huh. never did. Let's do some spruce wood stairs. I think that'll work for now. All right. Eight spruce wood stairs. That should be good. And let's see. You are working on the half slab. So... We did, I have some half slabs that can just go around here, so that'll probably give me a good idea of the depth. We can do Oh man. It's amazing to see you do this. You take something that <laughs> Uh, you make it look so easy, and it's not. <laughs> it's, just, it's just getting used to it, man. Yeah, I hear you. Let's see. Now we need a half slab at the top. That's cool. Now all you need to do is put yourself like a little item frame in the middle here, and maybe like a gold helmet or something like that to give you an idea it's a crown. Yeah. Also, one last thing with item frames, if you take, now that we still have plenty of iron and stuff, if you want, you can embellish the torches a little bit. If you put an item frame on the wall with the same torch, you can put stuff in the item frame to give it like a brace. So let's say, for instance, you put, you have any item frames on you? Uh, no, I don't. But, uh... Let's see, any leather or the no leather here. I'm not sure if I have any down here or not. I know I've got some back at the farm. No leather here. No leather here. No leather here. Um, Let me take a minute and pearl over there. I'll get some. Okay. So, all right, buddy. All right. Thanks, thanks for the item frames. I think I can show you what I want now. Let's go back to your little corridor. All righty. Your newly made throne. So on these torches, you can do item frame, item frame, and then inside the item frame, along with the torch in the same block, you can do an anvil. And you can flip them upside down, and it becomes like a torch holder. 
That is cool. You know, yeah. I've seen stuff like that, but it never really occurred to me how easy that was to do. Yeah, there's quite a few materials, actually, that you can use to make good ones. Enchanting tables, the rather expensive or very, very, like, pronounced. Uh-huh. You know, um, uh, bookshelves, all sorts of things that you can do. And on top, right here, I know we don't have the materials for it, but we just got into the snapshot. I think if you hung some banners right here, they would look really, really cool. Yeah, well, what I'm thinking here is that this... Well, uh, I'm going to expand it out both directions and up and give it a kind of a cathedralish place. So there yeah. will be plenty of room to hang banners. Cool, man. Well, I think this gives you a good jump start on kind of... It uh, does indeed. Things. And if you keep these same patterns running through, you've got a, such a great base already. If you keep these same patterns running through in the same colors... I think it's going to be gorgeous, man, once you get done well, with it. Well, that's good. I tell you what, you've certainly breathed some new life into a project that was kind of laying there asleep. <laughs> well, glad, man. I'm glad I could be of help, and it was a pleasure playing with you, brother. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys, until next time, this is Ulgen and TFC signing off. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.